Okay, so the Yoshi Blue versus the Cast Iron Pan. Who does it better? Um, to start off, the Yoshi Blue is extremely lightweight and Cast Iron is extremely heavy. Um, in many cases, um, this could benefit you or it might not even bother you. If you own a kitchen or a restaurant and you, you like the Yoshi or Cast Iron and it's not going anywhere, uh, maybe weight doesn't matter to you. Maybe you go camping with the Yoshi Blue and it's lightweight. Or let's call it a survival thing. Um, I guess that would be a, an exception to, to go for the Yoshi Blue because it is lightweight. Um, but both require a small amount of oil to be non sticky. Um, all you do is just dab. Uh, a napkin inside the oil and just rub it and just give it a, a light coating onto the pan and just heat it up so in this terms uh, they're both tied there's no pros or cons they both need a little bit of oil now if the if the food you're cooking is high in fat then you don't need uh, any oil and it'll just the the fat that's in there will just require enough lubrication for it to become non sticky um, um, next we have uh, the Yoshi Blue can be damaged with metal utensils it tells you in the manual uh, to uh, stay away from metal utensils and to use wooden or plastic utensils now of course you can use a metal fork or something just make sure you just don't scratch the surface just puncture the the meat the steak or whatever and flip it upside down you know don't do it like an animal and you'll be set um, now in cast iron you don't have to worry about this is a piece of metal and a metal and a metal is not going to do anything so you have no worry in a cast iron to there's no worry in damaging the pan <clears throat> um, then in in the in the event that you um, you're boiling water and it just boils dry and it's just there sitting um, really hot what you have to do is let it cool down before you add water because it can damage the the ceramic um, so this is a downfall um, cast iron of course you don't have to do. now when it comes down to cleaning up um, the Yoshi blue is extremely easy to clean up all you do is wipe it clean um, tells you in the man manual just to put a little bit of lu lukewarm water on it and just uh, add some soap and wash it with your sponge you're not supposed to use a steel wool um or a copper pad to clean it because it can damage the the ceramic diamond coating um so that it, there is a downfall there but it's not really a downfall because it it doesn't really need uh a steel wool i've I've used it plenty of times I've cooked eggs chicken steak I've even tried mayonnaise on there just dabbing it in there and cheese and nothing sticks on it it just falls right off. Um, now in the case of the cast iron it can get stuck and you will need a steel wool depending on what you eat of course or cook uh, you might might get stuck um, but you can leave it overnight that's the good thing you can leave it get it leave it soaking overnight or what I, or what I like to do is just add some water in there and then boil it and then it usually just comes right off um, I'm sure you can do the same thing with the Yoshi blue um, so there is a few benefactors here, but the Yoshi Blue it really falls off, so it's no big deal. So these are just a few things that uh, uh, hopefully help you decide whether you want a Yoshi Blue or not. Um, I bought one, and I I bought the 1999 uh, version in Walmart, not on on the TV. Uh, so I didn't get the the glass lid or the slicer or anything like that. So whatever it's not really a big deal I enjoy it it works great um, try it out check out some YouTube videos maybe there's some reviews out there and um, yeah there you have it Yoshi blue versus cast iron